So is it recording? I don't know. Okay. Okay. So when you when you load the plugin, you're going to get WooCommerce, okay, and you're going to get products. Okay. And you might get analytics too, and maybe marketing. I think all of these come with Woo. Okay. okay. Um, when you go to Woo, it's just, I, I mean, it's very, very simple. I mean, all I did was um, clicked on whatever things I needed you to click. Um, I don't know why it's so slow here. Something is, oh, okay. So I don't have that one. So let me go to, I think it was settings. So I click on settings. And then you put your address stuff in, right? Standard stuff, right? And then you got to make some decisions, you know, like what your currency is, things like that, obvious things, right? This is just simple setting stuff, right? Then products, um, you know, what, what do you want to call the page? For, if they want to see all the products at once, it could be shop, it could be whatever. Um, if, and just so you know, if you did go, went to that, this is what it would look like. Oops. So <clears throat> it would just basically display like this. This is a WooCommerce standard shopping page, okay? And so I wanted to kind of clean it up a little bit and make it look a little nicer, okay? And so I made my own little template, right? Which was this expert training page here. So I, I wanted it to look a little nicer here. And I can put any field I want in. If I want to put the price here, I could put it right here. I, can, I mean, you know, whatever I want to add, I can, but I have complete control over the appearance of these, okay? Versus WooCommerce's, you know, this is what, what theirs looks like, okay? I can't play with, I can't control things on here, okay? But, but you know, it does have the advantage, you know, add to cart, add to cart. I can just do it that way too, right? So next thing is... Um, shipping, okay, so if you're going to ship things to people, you got to make some shipping zones and stuff. I don't really, I just had one called Media Mail for people that bought the book. Mm -hmm. right? In the U.S., I'd say. Yeah, yeah. Payments, um, so I turned on PayPal and Stripe, okay. Was the integration very difficult? No, it's super easy. Did and you have to do a hook, a web hook? Wait, wait, so you see where it says cash on delivery? Yeah. So you wanted to be able to do that kind of stuff, pay with cash, right? Yeah. So you could do that kind of thing as well. Get the door. Yep, yep. So these are all just different ways to pay. Yep. Um, privacy, I didn't do anything with. Um, emails, I don't know if I did anything there or not. Let me see. Yeah. You can oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So whenever I got a new order, when an order was canceled, a failed order, I would get these, I get emails, right? Oh, the you do the, personally. Yeah. So in fact, they probably defaulted to all these anyway, because uh -huh. see, these go to customers, these go to me, right? Are there so, any upgrades on this so far? Oh, yeah. Yeah. This one here is an upgrade, subscriptions. Um, integration. Um, WooCommerce. Um, I don't use this. Um, advanced. I don't think I do anything with advanced. And then subscriptions, this is the Woo subscriptions tab. That's an S2 oh. members too. Hmm? That's probably an S, that, that thing I bought. Oh, well, this this will work with, um, you You got that plugin. Yeah. You know, because you bought that package of all the different. We bought that. Both of us can use it. I just yeah. Can't. So subscriptions, I paid, I think, 120 bucks or something for a year for subscriptions. So, you know. Uh, you can just use that plugin probably from that site until you test it and you decide you want to use it, then you might want to buy it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so is, those you, are, you got wait, go down. You got that GPL uh, plugin. Can I see it? Where is it? GPL Vault. That's it. Oh yeah, yeah. I I tried it out. Let's see it. You got four plugins. What plugins do you have? How's it know. working? Uh, I don't know. I haven't really played with it yet. Go go look at your plugins. Don't look at that. That's your license. Oh, it's supposed to work pretty good. Jonathan really likes it. Oh, this is all the plugins. No, no, no. Go back to GPL Vault. I'll show you where to go. Yeah, yeah, I did. No, go to no, go to GPL Vault. Right. Click it. Go. Okay, wait a second. GPL Vault. Stop. 
go down to G. Just just put your thing over GPL ball. Don't click it. See, this is what you're thinking. Above, right well, I said, yeah. You were looking at this. Yeah, I thought it was different. But just so you know, this and this is the same. So it's just plugins, huh? Yeah, I don't know why they even bothered to put it there. Anyway, that's how that works. I think I loaded one plugin. Um, I thought it would show you the plugins you loaded. I would have thought so too. It's it's kind of strange. I don't, and and maybe I don't even have it loaded here. I don't know. Um, I don't think I did actually. I think I took. I was going to put use it and I decided not to. But anyway. So let me show you the rest because you want to know about Woo. So the next thing that's important is products, okay? And so all products, it just lists all the products that you have, right? Think of a product as a custom post type. Right. Okay. So if I went to apply to membership, I can just click on it. Or and tickets. You could buy more than one ticket too. You can, well, there's plugins for, for events too. Just use an I event think you plug. can just buy more than one ticket on this. On yours, it's... You Shows. could, yes, but what I'm saying is you have event plugin for Woo. So just, yeah, I don't think you need it though. Yeah, okay. So um, so I, this is the, the text of whatever it is, right? This is what, what the hey, product is. You've done a lot for. of work on your text. Okay, That's so now watch So watch this. You need an image. I do that with, with uh, Canva. Yeah. Okay. And then I have- a what, Are you putting uh, PNGs up there or JPEGs? No, JPEGs. JPEGs. Yeah, I do JPEGs. Okay. The reason for it is because I never know what the background. I, I I don't want yellow to mix with it. I just, it's smaller too. Uh, yeah, it's smaller. You can do it, you know, PNG. It's solid, but it, yeah, it, uh, that's bigger. Yeah. Okay, so this is something you see this thing called product filters. Yeah. Okay, this is called an advanced custom field I created. Okay, so I I, I call an ACF called product filters. That's why I just called it. Okay. So the first one is image of the author or the product creator, right? Mm -hmm. The next one is product creator's first name and last name. I separate it rather than just make it one name. A bio, you can put whatever you want about it as a bio for that author. And then I add another one called display order. And that one, all I did here is a, it's just a number, but when I, I can sort it by display order naturally. So like I can say, I want this to always be in the first position. Okay, so I want them to see this product. So I can sell, I can tell people, look, if you want prime positioning of your product, it's only an extra, you know, 20 bucks a month. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Right. So I'll bump the number up, right? So some brand new products that, you know, throw in 20 bucks for the first month throw you at the front. Right. So you give you know, a little so tutorial, like, here's what, here's best practices. You know, when you sign up, put your product in, we set it up, you know, spend so, 20 bucks. Exactly. So when I go to expert training over here, Okay, I have this product display order. Okay, the default is what I is what I set. I made this zero, which is highest priority, yeah. right? Okay, now watch. I can also say, well, newest products, yeah, so oldest or mature product. And you made creator. you made this template. I made these. I made these little search things, right? You made this template in all yeah. in in the elementary, right? Well, this yeah, this is all elementary. Yeah, that search um, is an elementary. It's a yeah, it's it's a search plugin, but it but it taps into the elementary. For Elementor. Uh, no, um, it's it's it will work with WordPress. But then, what I did was I used that expensive plugin I told you about. Like you you got the hundred dollar whatever. Yeah. Um, I still owe you fifty bucks now. Yeah, so. it's okay. That that has an interface to this plugin that I bought, so that I can display it on the page. Okay, so it's kind of cool. Yeah. Um, but I can say you know if I want to find um you know i can search by by the authors and stuff like that so yeah. anyway so okay so if i want to look for say uh courses i can click on this yeah and it will just pre-filter and so you need to do a little you need to do a quick video tutorial to send it out to your will. closest friends well that's that's what my last stage of my onboarding is it's just a little overview just, video. just your close friends you need what you need now is you need courses i know and yeah. you have your course is is 60 days of silver prime for this yeah, it's getting ready for it. I'm, I've been working on it. Clean it up. I've already, I've already exported it from the other platform. Now I got to import. I would it. say one of the complaints I have in 60 Days of Silver, it's too much uh, Zoom mm -hmm. babble. Well, I mean, what I, I'm going to do? I think you can take the Zoom babble and then clean it up and make a good. There's a lot. There's a right. lot of lessons. I'm. Gonna, I've already been tagged them. Which ones I'm going to rip out? Yeah. Um, there's a lot of stuff that's that is not needed anymore. 
So, because Zoom babble, it's too, you gotta get to the point. Yep. Anyway, so there's your course, right? And so if, if you look at this, this, this stuff here is just what, what is in the product page, right? So if I go to, um, let, let's go to your course so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'll rebrand that when I get time because I have a. Okay, so we're going to go find podcasting. Okay, so we'll click on this one. Oops, where to go? Ah, moving around. Okay, so I click on this. And I, I've kind of made a standard. I'm starting to create a standardized template. Type of, yeah. So this is this is in Canva. So I have a little picture at the top and a little thing at the bottom. And then down here I have picture, um, first name, last name, a bio, right? And then display order. So 10 is my standard. It's like if I don't set it, it just goes to 10. Okay. That's the default value. So now over on the left side, it's the price. You just put it in here. It's a simple product, meaning it's it's a one-time purchase. Okay. If instead you want to make a subscription out of it, it could be a subscription, right? Yeah. If you did that, then it'd be what's the subscription every month or every whatever, every day, week, year, right? Um, expires, never, or whatever. You can pick a date. It so you built all this too. You put all this together. Now, this is Woo subscription, okay? That integrates with this, okay? Sign up fee, free trial, how many days, yeah. sale price. Yeah. Okay. Inventory, linked products you know, attributes, advanced, there's different things. So I, for years, I just made it a simple product and then I made it virtual, which means it's a digital product, okay? You could also have a downloadable product, which you could do this too, and you could deliver it, right? Yeah. So so then you have a product description. That's a short one. This is a long one, right? And then, um, then basically I have a category. I say it's a course, okay? And then the access tag, once we create the course, this will become an access tag. So I can say, you know, maybe, um, oh, I don't know. I'll just say whatever we want to make it. Um, I can give it a name. I'll just call it uh, oh, 60, let's do this. Um, 60 DTS. Okay, so you see create account or or free member or member, or, you know, you just, we just create a tag for it in active campaign. So whatever that tag is, that's what, when they buy it, it will set that tag. Okay. So that's the integration with, with active campaign basically. Okay. Which is really cool. So I just, that becomes how they, once they pay for it, that's what triggers the, uh, um, the access, allowing access to the product. Right. And then when that tag set, you can also trigger an automation in active campaign. Right. So. And I can make it so that the only people that can see this page that the ad that we're looking at, the ad is maybe only logged in members. Palace jewelry. Reno. Anyway, um, so it has you can you can say that I only want this card to be visible if they have if they're a logged in member, for example, or if they're logged out, or if they're a member at a certain level. I can I can I can make it so these products appear and disappear based on their membership type, for example, or certain active campaign tags are set. So it's some really cool things. Um, anyway, so that's how this, um, the Woo is. And that's it. If you learn that much, the rest of it's pretty simple. Why, you know? why didn't we start learning WooCommerce five years ago? Because I thought it was complicated. <laughs> We did all these that's, other things. That's my only reason. Because that's like I didn't want to learn something else. I, I've known people doing more commerce. I mean, that's the that's the yeah. most basic engine of a cart. And, and the other thing is, I thought WooCommerce was a paid thing. I didn't realize it was a freebie. Okay. We got a pay stuff. Yeah, it's a it's a freemium model. Well, it's it's free. Yeah, exactly. But if you add, yeah, it's called a freemium the, model. Right. So the one I added to it was Woo subscription, because I yeah. wanted to be able to do the monthly collecting things. Or annual. Yeah, just basically this this simple subscription is what so I So for that. red for red move, um, I'll have subscriptions to different clubs in there. I can manually put them in too. Well, I mean, again, um <clears throat> well, are we all done with the show off? Yeah, you can do that. Stop recording. I'll pause at least.